the Australian Television Network and associated stations present The Bert Newton Show. like show business, is there? And nobody knows that better than my next guest. In fact, Doris Savile will tell you it's about the best business there is, and that's why she's stuck at it for more than 70 years. Doris is here today to take us back to the good old, bad old days. Please make her welcome. <laughs> Some wolf whistles there, and well deserved too for Doris Savile. Doris, come over and, uh, and join us, if you will. Doris Savile, just about to. Oh, very nice too. The floor manager. Nice big peck for the floor. Hello, Doris. Come on in. Great to see you. Two kisses. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Pat. 70 years in show business, that's a darn long time. I mean, why you advertise that, I'll never know, because you don't even look 70. Well, I'm 77. Well, I, you're absolutely wonderful for that, Doris, I must I? say. I've got a few wrinkles. Haven't we all? Look, <laughs> I should have been a politician's wife, and then I could have had a face. You yeah, could have, Doris, couldn't you? <laughs> so, 70 years in show business, looking so good, and still enjoying the business. What's the secret? I've been watching you. Have you really? Yes, I've learned long a lot now? from you. Do you. What have you learned? Well, your nice appearance and you look good. Thanks. And also, I don't eat anything frozen, mm. nothing out of a tin, mm. and everything's got to be fresh. Do you sometimes have a little tipple, little drink? Oh, no. No drink. I leave that for my husband. He makes his own beer. Yes, that's unusual for him to be a drinker, and uh, you don't touch the stuff at no, all. No, no, no. Doris, back in the in the old country, um, I'm told around about the twenties, you were uh, quite a champion, Charleston. That's you? right. That's right. Did you win trophies and things? Pardon? Did you win trophies yes, and things? Yes, I did. I lost them in the Blitz. Oh, what a pity. Yeah, a Mum pity. had them. Did you stay in London for the the duration of the war? Yes, yes. Must have been pretty rugged. Well, they tried to evacuate us, but I missed my husband. And I went back. To get him. Together. Did, yeah. you, did you entertain during the war? Oh, yes. I entertained 1917 to the blind soldiers and the wounded soldiers that come back. Mm, that's wonderful. Uh, that's I wonderful. used to sing Dream Daddy to them. How does that go? Dream Daddy, Dream Daddy, Wonderful Daddy of mine. Never, so, I've never heard that before. <laughs> What are some of the other really old songs that perhaps somebody, even in my age group, wouldn't remember? 
Let me call you sweetheart. I know that one, but just It's a man it. every time. It's, it's a man. A every... man Do that for us. For who breaks a heart like a child breaks a toy? It's a man every time. It's a man for who makes us suffer as long as he lives. But she has to oh, I can't. <laughs> Listen, while you while you remember to sing. Like those old days. A little birdie told me that uh, back in the, the old days you were quite a high kicker and you haven't lost too much in 1989. No, I haven't. Like to strut your stuff and just show us a couple of high kicks? Well... Whoa! Yeah! Up you go! Yeah! <laughs> right. Star of ladies and gentlemen. Great set. Thanks for being on the show. And we're back with you after this break, and we meet a car dealer with a heart.